When it comes to cutting clear acrylic, diode lasers often face significant challenges. But why is that? In this video, we're going to dive into the science behind diode lasers and explain why they struggle with materials like clear acrylic. Diode lasers primarily operate in the visible light spectrum, with wavelengths usually between 445 to 450 nanometers. This blue light, while great for engraving wood or cutting certain materials, has a hard time interacting with clear acrylic. The key issue is absorption. Clear acrylic is designed to be transparent to visible light, including the blue light from diode lasers. Instead of absorbing the laser's energy, the material allows the light to pass right through it. This means that the laser isn't able to generate the heat required to effectively cut through the acrylic. Now, compare that to CO2 lasers, which operate at a wavelength of 10,600 nanometers, far outside the visible spectrum. Clear acrylic absorbs this infrared light very well, allowing CO2 lasers to generate the heat necessary for clean, precise cuts. There are workarounds like masking the acrylic with a colored layer or painting the surface. This can help the diode laser generate enough heat by allowing the surface to absorb the laser's energy. But even then, the results are often less reliable compared to a CO2 laser. Even if you manage to cut through, you might run into other problems like rough, melted edges as the diode laser struggles to maintain enough consistent heat for a clean finish. While diode lasers excel at cutting and engraving many other materials, clear acrylic just isn't one of them. For this type of project, a CO2 laser is the better tool for the job. If you found this video helpful, make sure to check out more of our guides on laser cutting and engraving. Don't forget to subscribe for tips and tricks to get the most out of your laser machine.